Hello, I'm Mrs Russell and I'm going to show you a maths game that you can play from home. Don't forget to keep checking the Learning From Home Grid, Purple Mash and our YouTube channel for more ideas of things you can do. To make your times table game, you will need a pair of scissors, something to write with, something rectangular to draw around. I'm using a playing card, but I also have a bank card spare. You will also need enough card to draw 24 rectangles. If you don't have card at home, no problem. You can use two A4 sheets of paper instead. Let's start by drawing out 24 rectangles. Here we go. Okay, 24 rectangles, here we go. Be careful, I accidentally drew on my card. Sometimes it's better to use pencil. Time to cut out our rectangles. Be careful when using scissors. Here we go. Perfect. 24 pieces of card ready to turn into a game. Time to number our rectangles. Get rid of 12 of them. We'll come back to them later. You need to label your first 12 rectangles 1 to 12. Here we go. All right, let's bring the other 12 rectangles back. Now we're going to write our times table cards. I'm going to use the four times table for mine and I'm going to write the multiples of four on each card. But I'm going to practice first so I know that I've got them right. Okay, I've got my list, I'm ready to go. You can do this with whatever times table you're working on at home. So just remember, practice first, make sure you've got them all right, and then start labelling your rectangles. Let's learn how to play. Lay your cards 1 to 12 out on the table in front of you or on the carpet if you like. Now, shuffle up your multiple cards. You can play this game with up to six people, but you can play it with as little as two. You can play it on your own as well if you like for practice, but I think it works best with three to four people. Deal out your multiple cards face down. Take a look at your multiple cards and hide them from the other player. I like to get mine in order. So here's how we play. As a team, we will be putting down our cards that match the different numbers lined out on the table. For example, 1 times 4 would be 4. Now I don't have that one, so I know that the other person needs to go first. Then I would take a turn and go for 8. Now as you saw there, it's not always going to be turn order, so you might have all the cards in a row. Excellent, we've done it. We've matched up the multiples to the number they're timed by. But there is another rule to this game. So shuffle up your numbers once more. Shuffle up your multiple cards and deal them out again. Now, here's where there's a really key rule. Although you're working as a team, you are not allowed to speak. So, shall we give it a try? Here we go.
Good work. We did it. Yes. So there we have it. Mrs. Russell's timed table game. Whether you're just starting out with your twos or trying out a really tricky times table like your twelves, it's a perfect game to be enjoyed between two and six people. So, have fun! <laughs>